center of gravity can be found right here on this car. The string is located in the center of the vehicle and also on the side in the cent at the center uh, of gravity on this side. It does not tip because it is the very center of the gravity. And the point where these two crosshairs go and meet is the point at which the center of gravity is in the car. On a car like this, the center of gravity is more here, towards the back. Here, on one of these cars, the center is more towards here, because much of the weight is forward on this car. As you can see, it would be right there. I'm going to go to Richie so he can tell you about turns. So, when a car is accelerating, all the weight goes to the back wheels. This causes the front wheels to pretty much lift off the ground, although not visibly. This creates less grip on the front wheels, and therefore when you go for a turn, the front wheels can't grip enough to make the turn, and so you end up going straight head on into a tree. Conversely, when you're braking, all the weight goes to the front of the car, lifting up the back wheels. When the back wheels are lifted up, there isn't enough grip on them to keep the whole car planted. When there isn't enough grip to keep the whole car planted, when the front wheels grip around the turn, the back wheels, instead of staying in place, because they're up, whip around, and you end up going backwards into a tree. Aerodynamics these days is a crucial part to consider when um, thinking about vehicle design because of its effect on various factors such as speed, downforce or drag, um, fuel efficiency, and let's be honest. It makes the car look cool. talk a little bit about the actual center of gravity in this car, which can be found right about here. Because it is tall, it's pretty high off the ground. Because it is long, it's kind of in the middle. But because the engine, the heaviest part of the car in this case, is right in front, it actually moves center of gravity a little bit forward. But because of the transmission being about right here in the car, it moves it about here-ish, a little bit down. So this car is pretty damn good in terms. So, what happens when we turn? Well, if we do it right, it shouldn't be a problem and all four wheels will have grip, especially in this two, sorry, especially in this four wheel drive car. However, if we're braking into a turn, the back wheels will lift up and it will easily slide around and fishtail. If we're speeding up into a turn and we try and turn a lot, well, we're probably just gonna keep going in a straight line. And that tree we were talking about earlier, you're gonna hit it. This car was designed for air to pass over. The car's 
much lower than other parts. It has this smooth curve here. This drops down with a small scaler to push the force down into the ground. The design of this car allows it to move much faster because it has reduced drag due to increased airflow. As you can see, this car is very short, which allows it to be closer to the ground and therefore create less drag while it's moving. Lower center of gravity? It also, has, it also has a much lower center of gravity, which helps to hold it down to the ground. As you can see, we have two vents. One to cool the engine, one to cool the transmission. This also allows the air to move under the car and create airflow and have the least amount of drag. But also, the slope of the car here causes the car to be pushed down and thus get better traction on the ground.